super amped to see like a movie that was trying to kind of like reignite that sort of like you know like like big robot fighting big monster and just like a movie that's just trying to have fun with itself you know yeah and, like went into it with like really high hopes and when i watched it i enjoyed it and i remember being just like this is the best movie ever and but he could say that it's bad, and then after a while, I'm just kind of like, nah, this movie does kind of have a lot of flaws. You ever go see a movie, and you walk out of the theater, and you're like, that's the best movie ever, and then, like, within a week, you're like, mm, my opinion yeah, you has start changed. changed. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of, like, get over, like, the hype of just recently seeing it, and then after you kind of, like, think about it, and then start to, like, analyze it a little bit, you then start to notice more than <clears> the <throat> um, You know what movie I didn't have that turn, and I totally expected to? The new Blade Runner. Really? I, I was expect that. I was expecting to walk out of that theater and be like, "Oh, that's amazing!" And then like a couple days later, be like, "Yeah, it was, it was okay." Because like, here's the thing: the plot, yep, it's whatever. The cinematography, though. I hear that's one of the highest points of that movie as well. It's so like it. It makes up for a lot of the plot. Because <laughs> that cinematography is just. Yeah, <clears throat> I feel like, oh, I a lot of people who are really like big fans of Blade Runner. I watched this one stream in particular who's like a super big fan of Blade Runner. And when he went to go see it, he was like, the plot was a little bit shaky, but like, like you just said right now, the cinematography and just the way that the movie presents itself is really, really top notch. And it almost in a sense makes up for that. To the point where also, it's like, Jared Leto sucks just as a human and an actor, mm -hmm. but the character he played is so appropriately shitty that you're like, okay, I get it. I see why you cast him as that man. So, so at the very least it fits him, so that's good to know. But I also feel like Jared Leto did not have to act that much. So, so just letting you know, I'm streaming Dauntless, because the update did come out. And boy, the, the graphical update is crazy. Like, it looks like a it's starting to look more like a full game. If you, oh, they're starting to like, you know, like polish it a little bit more? Yeah. Something? Because right nice. now, the weather effects and everything looks real nice. That's something that I wish that, like, Monster would have, is that, like, there would be, like, different, like, weather effects. Not just, like, one map all the same all the time. Be, like, different ones where it's, like, the weather changes. Some monsters kind of do that, where they change the environment a little bit, but nothing is too oh. extravagant. That'd be cool for Monster Hunter World. I hope something like that is on day is the Monster Hunter World. And I'm just eager to see all of the returning monsters that uh from the main series. Because they're they're adding like a lot of like new ones. Mm, I don't wanna have to deal with my arch nemesis again. Who's your arch nemesis? Okay, and then please tell me. The Gora Pico. <laughs> I love him. I think like I'm not a big fan of the fight, but I love the design. The thing is, I hate when you're like, alright, I gotta hunt a Corpeco. Because uh, you never just hunt a Corpeco. It's, you never hunt just the Corpeco when it comes to Corpeco. That's, that's his gimmick. That's the catch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I remember the first time I went to go play, I was new to the series. I was on, it was the first 3DS game. Try Ultimate, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, that's just try. Too. But I started and, on the version. Uh, uh. <laughs> I got to the Koro Peko one, I was like, alright, let's do this. And then he summoned the other one, and I was like, oh, oh man. I think, was it in uh, the, like, the island map, or was it in the desert map? I think it was in the desert map. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was the desert map, because I remember chasing him around on the map for fucking ever. <laughs> was it, I, I want to say that it's, it was most likely the, the Raytheon then, that you made him yeah, because I know that you have to at least be more into the game to run into another scenario where you want to curve that guy and the pickle. The pickle. The pickle. I will say it every time I've done them. I, I've never been in a scenario where I can like confidently make my way through a monster hunter game. Because one, playing on 3DS, it's not fun. Um, and two, like, I just don't have people to play with, so I'm just kind of, like, giving up. That's kind of what happened to me, too. Once I didn't have, like, that many friends to play with anymore, and once I got through a lot of, like, or at least, like, with the most recent one generations, where it only goes up to high rank, and once I we kind of did most of the stuff you could do in high rank, I just kind of stopped. Yeah. I do remember.
remember, I think I was playing the first level of Try, where you have to like encounter the water one and then run away from it. And I was just like, can I kill it? <laughs> and oh. that was nothing, I was like just swimming back and forth between levels, letting it get close, smacking it once, going back outside, and then like re just doing that re-encounter over and over again. I was like, will it eventually die? <laughs> Dude, I feel like in that instance, it's always really such a thing to see someone who's like brand new to just the series in general, and get thrown into that situation. <laughs> like, there's some people who just immediately just scream and run away from it, and there are yeah. others, like you and me, who are like, but can I kill it at this point? Well, so the first time I saw it, I was like, Jesus, and I ran, I ran away. But then after like going through a couple other levels, I was like, hold on. Yeah, you started like thinking a little bit. Now can I kill it though? <laughs> Despite the game telling you, don't try, you're gonna die. Believe that it dies. Exactly, so it was like, if I can at least hit this thing and do damage, I can potentially do it. And then I think I found out that, like, hey, no, it actually doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, oh, can't be this is actually scripted, god damn it. It's very disappointing. Yeah, because I love when games allow you to do that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. There's some, some games where they do let you do stuff. While it being either very difficult or being like a specific thing to do with Dark Souls, when that yeah. monster jumps down and you're like, oh fuck, and you run away. But also. Yeah, and the game rewards you for like killing it before you do that too. Yeah, like also, you can't just kill that thing. <laughs> I gotta say, from fighting this one monster, the game feels smoother. I know you said it looked clunky and slow. <clears throat> I just can't yeah, wait for it to be a full game. Like, I wouldn't say that has to be like very fast paced because Monster Hunter's gameplay isn't like the most fast paced at times. But at the very least where it's like it feels more fluid, I guess. And it doesn't feel like you're kind of just like I'd say like a good metaphor to use is like you're kind of just like dragging your feet through mud at times. I was gonna say somebody should make a game where you hunt mechs, but that's basically Titanfall too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You hit the nail of Also Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. I forgot about that game. Gosh darn exclusives. Yeah, right. Let's switch up that in Final Fantasy. Oh no, where did Kage go? Oh! Kage's dead. Ah. Uh. Kage is dead, though. Uh, but I'm gonna log off anyways. Oh yeah, it's probably getting a bit late now, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. After, some... after Friday, I'm gonna make him play video games normal. <laughs> God, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be up uh, soon. Uh, yeah, I have one tomorrow. Wish you the best of luck. I've got, I've got two tomorrow, and I want to Thank not. <laughs> well, one. one of them's not even really a final. It's more I just need to finish the... <laughs> oh, no. It's just fine. I'm like... Can I do it? Do Hold on. Oh. Almost there. Gosh, how? I got an A in my bio class! Yay! Nice! Congrats, I, man. Good job. I, I did it! I don't know how I did it, but I did it! I you scraped by! It. Don't even question it. Just... Hey, I got a, on the paper, man. I got an 83 out of 100, and that was enough to keep my grade an A. Nice. Yes! That Honestly, means... Like, well done. Good job, man. Hold on. That means... Got an A in that class. I think I got an A in this class. Yeah, that counts all the extra credit. So far, I have four out of six A's this semester. Nice. Congratulations, man. What are you, a nerd? Sorry. Yeah, I had to quit. I had to quit my job to do this, though. All right. I'm. I. I, I forgot that this is something that friends do, where they kind of like tease you. All right. Um. Ha 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 ha. You, you're smart. Call him a nerd. Call him a nerd. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. I, I cheated in most of them. Oh. <laughs> hey. You just said that on stream, that? just letting me know. 
I am. Let me, let me, I am let streaming. Me when it comes to, to <laughs> let me tell you when it comes to the education system, you can't. There's no cheating in quotations. Cheating the education education system. There are ways around the education system that can benefit you. I mean, they said it wasn't an open book test, but I was at home taking an online quiz and. Look, I, no technically, one can stop I didn't use there. it. Technically, yeah, Google's like, not a book. Is a book really open if no one is around to see it open? Right? Exactly. Show it your book. <laughs> I would say that Googling questions isn't using a book, so. Exactly. They don't, they don't say you can't. Real quick, it. I need no. an opinion. The update okay. came out. Do I make my main weapon the new weapon? Is that what you do when updates come out? Yeah, it's like how anytime so, like a new hero gets added to Overwatch, people are like, "That's my main." Yeah. So do do I use the rocket launcher spear or not? I don't. Go for it. Honestly, like Stop. if you're interested in it, go for it, man. Stop. I mean, it shoots a fucking rocket. Like that's pretty cool. <laughs> like that's enough reason for me to choose it. Like if it looks cool and it it just immediately catches my eye, I want to try. But the it. hammer has a cannon in it. Like. Well, at that point, you gotta ask yourself, which would you prefer, the cannon or the rocket launcher? I don't, tough choice, I know. Because, and then the game just implemented uh, blunt and sharp damage. So like that big lava monster you saw, yep. you need blunt damage to break the rocks off. And then you would use, and then people in your party that have uh, swords and stuff would do the, the flesh damage because they're using sharp weapons. Ooh, nice. God. That's pretty interesting. I know that on Monster Hunter only, like, really, like, focuses on cutting damage to break parts because everything can essentially like break something yeah but the, the, like Dauntless is trying to do something where it's like oh, only blunt weapons can like break this i like that but but they they said specifically that they didn't want if if you get a team that's only using blunt weapons don't fear you can still beat the monster it's just it's slightly easier if you have a mismatched weapon set right yeah because different weapons can like do different damage to certain monster uh, areas in the monster's body, depending on whether it's like cutting it's damage busy. or like blood damage. You managed it just in time. Think you should help me out? I don't think I'm gonna get an A in my acting class. Acting? Yeah, it's one of my major requirements. Um, I don't want to take an acting class, but I had to. It was that or a boring art history class. <laughs> oh, don't talk to me about art history. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, you, you know what class I probably won't have to write serious papers in? Acting. Actually, Actually you didn't have not. to write a paper at all. There's class that you're just like, uh, oh, I, I kind of just chose this because there's no other option. Yeah, but I have to do a two-person scene tomorrow, um, and I haven't memorized the part at all, so I'm gonna go up tomorrow and bomb. Aww. That sounds like when I took electrical theater, because I thought I would just... I don't know what it was. I was like, well, I ain't fucking acting. So I'll take this, and it turns out it's just the lights and the set and everything. See, I would love to do that. Um, it's so chill. Yeah, like, it sucks. You know, my major's gonna be video editing and producing and stuff, and they're like, you need an acting class or an art history class. And I'm like, what, what does any of that have to do with the video production? And they're like, don't worry about it. I have to be... I mean, both kind of make sense, but they're not very big parts in what you're trying to do. Yeah. Well, it sucks, because also my school has a video production class, but to get into that, you have to go take acting for film and television as a prereq before you can get the video production class. Also, those units for that video pro class don't transfer to Cal uh, to SDSU, so... Damn, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's completely dumb and roundabout. As an art major, take every. <laughs> Wait, what? You cut out? Oh, just I've had to take two art history classes, and they are just so dull. Yeah. So dull. I mean, <laughs> I've taken a bunch of film classes, and then I got a, I took a theater class to learn about the history of theater and whatnot, and that was pretty dull. Knuckles. You know? Taking this fucking acting class. My astronomy class that I have to do a final in tomorrow will be easy because I have a 94 <laughs> in that class and um, nice. my curve is like 86. So. Let's talk, Captain. 
I'd have to bomb real hard on the final, which I don't because of my friend Google. <laughs> no, Google's sure cheating. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, like I said, there's no such thing as quote unquote cheating when it comes. No, to No, that's game. cheating though. You're here. I'm just very good at finding Never information. Yeah. Exactly. A scavenger. I I miss the old days when teachers literally had the answers online. Calculators. Calculators. Are Fuck you mean I'm almost out of data. I'm on the Wi-Fi. Shut up. Staring at his painting. Looks nice from this angle. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you just kind of imagine that the person who like originally painted it just kind of like tilted their head and didn't even notice that their head was tilting as they were painting it. So it only looks good at the angle that their head was tilted at. I love the Leaning Tower people. Say that as a joke, but it's... it's... You know, it happens a lot. <laughs> I feel like that's a very valid interpretation for some art pieces. That's and... that's why a lot of people... Uh, well, if you're not a digital artist, if you're doing traditional, a lot of people mirror the, uh, the drawing. They'll, they'll take the mirror and like put it in front of the drawing and check the reflection. Because mm -hmm. once you flip it, it looks completely different and you can yeah. see it makes way easier. Okay, let's see. I also tend to turn them upside down. If I don't have a mirror, it just helps. It's kind of like with, with digital art too, where it's like you're drawing something and then you flip it, and then yeah. you realize like, oh god, yeah, and mm. everything's not properly aligned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am the I am a culprit of just like pressing horizontal button oh, yeah. thing on my keyboard every time I draw. Ah. I've had a lot of friends in the past who I would stay up online over Skype while they were drawing stuff. Mm. And I would constantly hear them scream, and I'd be like, "Did you flip it?" And they're like, "Yeah, I flipped it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's deadly. <laughs> this teacher wants me to memorize so much dialogue, and I hate him for doing this to me. My partner doesn't have to memorize that much. Me, I got like a full fucking page of shit I gotta memorize. <sighs> and it's me dying on a bench. Wait a second. Do I take persimmon die? Pale olive dye or mustard dye? Mustard. Persimmon, to be contrary. I'm gonna take mustard because I want to make McCree. Also, I assume persimmon's a, like a shade of red. I lied. I can choose all three. Oh, nice. And everything turned out better than expected. <laughs> I'm. They added the store in this update. I guess this is how they're making their money. It's it's so far it's nothing worrying. It's all emotes and small okay. like uh, support items while you're on the hunts, but not really pay to win. I guess you could say, mm -hmm. which is always I'd nice. Be, I'd be more concerned if content with, well, like that was locked behind these. Like you put those items and and you put them in a box and you make those boxes. Oh god damn it! Yeah, no, box. there's none of that so it, that I've seen so far. <laughs> So it's almost like, in a sense, you have to gamble. Um, no, no gambling here. Besides the shitty teammates you might get. Well, that's wonderful then. God, speaking of gambling, I saw this thread on the one of the Final Fantasy Reddits, mm -hmm. and this guy he spent like sixteen thousand dollars. Oh, in total God. or something uh -huh. on the game and as a result of his like addiction gambling addiction his his wife found out and oh. like now he he's got kids too and he's like facing like his wife might leave him and like <laughs> he doesn't he, he's just like i made a mistake and he's just like yeah <laughs> god there reminds, you, there reminds you of that one clip of like the Dr. Phil show where it's like he plays video games all day and his wife is fed up. Yep. I love Brave Exeus. But damn, I can't even imagine dumping that much. Not my wife. Because it's not even the it's not even a good Final Fantasy mobile game. <laughs> my wife it's... laughs at me when I die instead of telling me to get off the game. What a supportive woman. That's a keeper. Yeah. Wait, are you in her married now? Oh, no, but I always I always say married oh. because I'm going to marry her. Oh. oh. Yeah. I think that's well, called 
the top ten. Yeah, but I don't. I haven't proposed, so that's not. Money's a thing. I forgot yeah, to yeah. equip the fucking new weapon. I, I I bought it and I forgot to fucking equip it. Son of a bitch. You better hurry before Erebus cucks you. For me personally, the concept of marriage just doesn't scare me over the fact that it's a lifelong commitment. What scares me is that it's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing though, right? Just don't do an expensive wedding. Yeah, we're That's just gonna... That's literally what all of my siblings did. Gonna hire just some random guy that says he's a priest and get married. In I the mean, middle of the street. I mean, hell, you can just go to the courthouse and then just bring a friend as a witness and then boom, married. Yeah. You don't even need a fancy reception or anything. It's true. If you want to make it official, you can just do that. Like, right. most of the costs are just like... The... If you're marrying a woman, the dress, if they're wearing a dress. Yeah, the most expensive <laughs> things are the dress and renting out the church. If you want to do it like in a church. Otherwise, yeah, just renting a, a nice place and the dress. Those are the two. Best and the ring. Yeah, the ring. Kind of the um, big one there. I don't know whoever is in the future. If it's me, like a copy of me, I hope they uh just get me like a like a ring from a, a video game. <laughs> oh. It's like a lollipop. <laughs> ring pop. Yeah, it's... ring pop. <laughs> Considering how much of a gearhead I could be at times, I just want someone to just put a, like, a lug nut. <laughs> a lug nut. It, it's tough, because I know that me and my girlfriend would prefer to be very cheesy about it, and have mm -hmm. just, like, a very lame wedding. But also, that costs money, and we'd rather have that money go towards anything else. Yeah, you know, like, important stuff that like seems just one day. <laughs> yeah. And, like, speaking from the experiences that my siblings went through, a lot of planning goes into it, and most of the time, not everything that you plan into it goes the way that you hope it to, and that can yeah. also be very disappointing. Yeah. Plus, like, it's a lot of work for, like, other people <laughs> to come in and enjoy. Just yeah. real quick, if you're watching the stream, I know nobody is, but I'm about to jump this ridiculously <laughs> large gap, and this guy's looking at me like, don't do it, bro. <laughs> Link it to me right now, I want to see you fall oh, into the abyss. It's on Monster Hunter. I know, made it. It's, uh, oh, okay. Oh, I was like, Monster Hunter. I was gonna like go to like, Twitch and look up Monster Hunter, but I'm like, oh wait, the Discord. Oh, hello, animal. I like the name Dauntless better than Monster Hunter. Maybe that's a thing for me, too. It's a pretty good name. I like it. Cool name. I like to say it like, like a Scotsman. Dauntless. <laughs> I like to say it like that. If you had the chance to be dauntless, would you? Just gonna say dauntless. Donkey. Oh. <laughs> no, please. I'll always be sad because Double Fine. They um, they do a thing every year where they have a bunch of people in house um, come up with prototypes, and they came up with like, I can't remember the name of it. I gotta find it. It was. Basically Monster Hunter, but based on like kind of Nordic mythology. And there was a class whose weapon was like two tankards of beer. <laughs> oh. It's cool. Amnesia. Based on Ray here, or Did you post Ray's a link to your stream recently on the Monster Hunter Discord? Huh? Oh, the, the link to your stream is made in the Monster Hunter Discord, or...? Yeah, it should be at the bottom. You just click on that. That video should go to it. I think? Give me two seconds. I... Oh yeah, there it is. Yep. My okay. Mind. Yeah, no, my audio is so loud. I haven't turned it down. I actually have like my YouTube audio on low, which is to avoid like loud things. Because I like to listen to music loud. Oh, it's true. 
He'd probably be a good streamer. Yeah, just looking at the gameplay, it does look a lot smoother. Who's that now there? That looks like what could be a bear and a owl. <laughs> we had this conversation already. Yeah, I know. Oh. And I made like a comparison saying like, oh yeah, there's one owl monster monster and a bear monster monster. They remind me of both. I like the numbers. Do you get a cool number? Cool Because the numbers weren't in that previous build. But then, it, I don't know. If there's no health bar, do you really need numbers, though? I guess it's just so that you know, that, like, oh, you're in this part of the, where you're hitting the monster. Yeah. It's doing the most damage. So that you know, like, okay, I shouldn't be getting hit there because I'm not doing enough damage. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ah! There's a pinkish hair in the painting. Oh, God. Please leave. <laughs> Get out. Get out. No, I don't wanna touch it. Touch it. Get some tweezers. I would leave this place. And then you bang like two pots of pants together, and then you can just say, leave this place. Leave. My professor like walks in, like, I just have it in class and I'm just banging pots. What's going on? This is how I bring my pizza to life, as you continuously bang the pots together. This is my procedure. This is how I paint. <laughs> this is my muse, you say, as you continuously do it. An adult coloring book for Overwatch, you say, and it's a picture of Tracer. Uh oh. I know that's <laughs> not what they mean, but... I also know the Overwatch man. Mm, yeah. Approach with caution, I'd say. I think you mean buy it right now. Well, I won't buy it. Not there are two kinds of people. <laughs> Kenan and Shadow. <laughs> you know what, you fucking owl. You didn't need to bitch slap me like that. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see it. It's not you right now. Oh, oh you <laughs> piece of... I'm really mad that I have a sword right now. My little jar is too small to fit this giant brush. Gotta wash it. Come on. It ignored me. Ah, oh, goddammit. Let's throw a flare up for no good reason. That's a good idea. Also try spinning with your sword, that's a good trick. Did you say spinning with my sword? Yeah. I got this. Okay. It's spinning... Spinning, spinning does not uh, work as well as I thought it would be. Because I'm moving my joystick as fast as possible on the 360. Is my ultimate a projectile? Oh boy, I'm about to test that out. Oh dude, it was like a Hadouken you just did right now. I know. Oh, so it is a Hadouken. Holy cow. I thought I had to be up close for that. Oh, but it's not very at long range either. I'm very excited about... Well, I'm not exactly shit on the Street Fighter, but... You know... The mayor now. Oh, Cody? Yeah. Yeah. I was afraid they went to something like that, but I guess it makes sense. And, like a lot of the stuff, uh, or at least a lot of the characters Street Fighter are like going through like really big changes. Or at least most of them. It needed to happen. I was tired of Cody being a criminal. <laughs> yeah, Cody he finally got a better. Yeah, I'm happy. To, I'm happy. For him. 
But why is my biggest crush Crimson Viper, though? You know what? I don't blame you. <laughs> what? But what's your fucking name? That new character is really hot. The wrestler? No, Armika. She's. I mean, she's not a new character. She's I don't know is the game it, too well. Is it Colin? It's the Egyptian one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. The one that doesn't yeah. look like a Street Fighter character. The one that looks like she belongs in like Darkstalkers or something. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, definitely like a Darkstalkers character. Or like... It's a really good design. She's hot. She's hot. Yeah. Good design. It's late. <laughs> But it's very good edition, myself. Kage. Thanks. I have said it better myself. Just she, spreading the truth. She, as the kids would say, slays. <laughs> Come yeah. on. I'm proficient in this talk. Is she thick? <laughs> She's a little thick. Like, two C's, like my name implies, or like four C's? Like, two. Three. I'll take ah. two. There's like better examples, especially in Street Fighter V. Yeah. I had a really good joke at, uh, during Shape of Water where my girlfriend's roommate was talking about the fish man's juicy ass. Oh. My girlfriend was like, ooh, he thick. And I was like, is that with seven C's? Because he's a fish man. Oh. The ocean. You know my what? God, that was brilliant. You're fired. You're just fired. That's fine. No, I, I'm hiring you. you. You're firing him, I'm hiring him. Hey. I'm firing that was wonderful. him. I'm firing him from your <laughs> your association. You're gonna, you're gonna apply to my association, rank up, <laughs> and then and fire, him. fire him. <laughs> this is for seven years ago. <laughs> Some crimes can't be forgiven. <laughs> Good to Okay, for the love of Jesus, please switch out this fucking basic bitch sword. It looks a little basic, I'll say that. Well, that's... And then, um... I'm pretty sure Monster Hunter does the same thing, but the weapons you make... Are they... They're based off of the pieces from the monsters you hunt, right? Yeah. It's like... Armor, too. Yeah, so this game has does the same thing. You mean the game that's basing its whole place system of Monster Hunter. You know what? Lots of games do it. Shut the hell up. Borrows that mechanic that Monster Hunter uses. Like, how do you create a game in this genre Back without being day, compared? When the game was the game. That's like... That's like trying to make a game like League of Legends, but not get compared to it at all. It is impossible to make a MOBA. Or like trying to make a game called Overwatch and it getting compared to TF2. Yeah. Any hero base shooter is now TF2 or Overwatch. I know, Overwatch wishes they were that good. Pretty much. I have no idea what I'm painting. <laughs> Paint a stick man. A really detailed tell... stick man. You can tell that Overwatch fucking sucks compared to TF2. Because in uh, Overwatch. Huh? Can't hit anyone with a fish. <laughs> you know, we were just talking earlier, or at least like I don't think it was. Maybe it was today, or I don't know. Maybe, maybe it can be finicky at times. Uh, hoping that they add like a fish man as a hero. I think we were talking about that last night. Yeah, I'd super be down with that. I would love that honestly. Cause yeah, we were talking about Atlantis being uh, like a thing. Yep. Listen, it wouldn't be any more ridiculous than anything else in that fucking game. The game's trying not to be ridiculous with being ridiculous at the same time. Like monkeys awesome. on the moon. Yeah. But then they're like, no, we can't have a cat in a jetpack. <laughs> Is that still bothering you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean... The way they follow these, like, inane rules. Though, cat in a jetpack also is just a Bloodborne character. Battleborn, not Bloodborne. That would be an interesting Bloodborne character. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just make it like a really like edgy Puss in Boots. On guard. 
so yeah, uh, somebody buy into the closed beta with me and play this game. That costs money. Yeah, it sure does. It was 40 bucks not on sale, and then it was 20 bucks uh, on Black Friday. That's when I got it. Let's see. I don't have the money to spend on video games right now. Yeah. Same. I got I did, I'd totally be down to... I gotta go try. watch Star Wars. I gotta, wow. like, pay off a ticket and, like, do traffic school and, like, pay for a new tag, so... Man, cars Wait. are fucking expensive. But there's a Dude, grand... I drive. <laughs> Or you can not get a ticket. You know, that helps. Oh, there's not even that, though. Like, the whole, like, new tags and, like, getting the car checked up and all oh, that yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, no. My car, my monthly payment is 660 and my insurance is 200 My car payment is 160 and my insurance is 290 And I hate my life. I wish I had your car payment. I'm not looking forward to car payments. I only think I've ever drove it. My... I'm also driving like a shitty Ford Fiesta that doesn't even have power windows, so... You know how much people made fun of me when my car was 2015 and it didn't have power windows? Mine's a 2016 and it doesn't have power windows, so... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I feel We're like going through the same thing. Yeah, it sucks. Well, well not anymore, because I... I it's been a while since you've been on, but I got a new car, a 2017 Ultima. Ooh, nice. And this one has everything. I also put like $4,000 down on my car. I put nothing down. I had good credit. The nice thing is I don't, because I... My sister helped me get the car, uh... I don't... There's, it's a zero interest loan. Okay. So, like, that's nice. I know I don't, very little about cars. Me too, yeah. That, that's, that's about where I stopped yes. right there. Yep. My mom's it's... Dodge truck. And I know and how every much... time that I had to, like, stop and fill it up for gas and just see the fact that I had to, like, spend, like, over almost $40 just to fill it up. And I'm just like, God damn it. Every time I would go there, I would just, like, as I'm sitting there watching it fill up, I just say, God damn it. That's why I be smart. typically fill my car up by half right now. Because fucking California gas tax mm -hmm. increased gas by fucking 12 cents, and then every fucking gas station was like, hey, since it's already getting increased, what if we increase Let's it like another 20? Yeah. How much is, a, is it per gallon at your favorite gas station? Do you know? Uh, the cheapest I can find it is under, like, it's like two ninety eight typically, but that's like searching around and driving and then paying cash only. Card, it's typically like three twenty. So, oh so I'm a Sam's Club member. So Sam's is just like Costco, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, yada, yada. And um, so it's only two forty three at mine. I fucking hate you, dude. That's oh man, that would be a blessing where I live because like the cheapest that I can find is like three twenty. I've also just got like a like. I'm so happy that next semester I'm moving closer to the school, probably, and I'm only doing school one day a week because if I had to keep doing my fucking commute four days a week, I would kill myself. Dude, uh oh. Honestly, I think make the commute shorter is a blessing. I definitely don't that. Yeah. Because if I don't have to drive as much, then I don't have to buy as much gas. Oh exactly. my! I mean, that's money you can save. Take better things. <laughs> Sorry, just. Because I also I always have to sit in traffic, which is just always. Okay. I just shot yeah. the rocket and it's amazing. Can you head to bed, Kaga? Yeah. Alright, have a good night. And again, good luck on your final. Wish you the best of luck. I will pass now. Or get three whites and a blue. Okay, good night. Good luck, God. <laughs> have a good night. Take care. Oh <laughs> my god, that's so fucking cool. Oh, oh. you're trying to, like, kind of reminds me of the. Oh god. Again, making comparison, but it reminds me of the insect wing. Does it get more stronger if you hold it? Um, why did uh, that shoot off to the right? What the fuck was that? I saw that you were doing like uh, mid or flips with it, and the insect wing does that too. Move over. 
That's one thing I've immediately noticed is this game it doesn't focus on like aerial uh, like jumping around on top of the monster combat. Yeah. Up until like the last game they did Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Until I think I think four. Yeah, I think four they added, but it also sucked to do because like once a person got on the monster, if anyone tried to hit the monster you'd get thrown off. Yeah, then they immediately changed that generation. Yeah. Oh God, that does a lot fun. Yeah. It wasn't fun and it just it wasn't fun because the only per the person who was mounted the monster was the was actually engaging it, and everyone else just took a stand and just wait. And that's the worst thing that you could tell someone to do in monster is just like stand there and do nothing. Oh, I see how the the rocket works. That meter in my top left. If I fucking miss, son of a bitch. Um, the more of my meter I build up, and then I load the rocket, the stronger the rocket will be. At least, yeah. So it's like a charge shot. Yeah, but I can all I, I can store it because I see three of those tiny squares. From what I'm so assuming. Like, so you can like charge up a shot and then save it so that if you find a better opportunity to fire. It. Yeah. Nice. You know what, you little shit. That wasn't very polite of you. <laughs> Such an awkward distance away, goddammit. You know what? Fucking hell. I don't like what they did with the new uh, party searching system. Because before you could search a specific monster you want to hunt, now you have to go into a queue and hope that your monster is there. And once you've done enough hunts, you can choose a specific monster if you're still looking for it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what? Oh my... I really don't like you. No, please get out of the way. Also, like, I'm not sure if you've seen, but sometimes orbs drop off of it. Those are the extra pieces. Before, they never did that. Before, it was if you cut off its tail or not, you didn't have to worry about picking it up. You got it at the end of the map match, which I prefer that because now I'm going to be worried about if I have to pick it up or not, if the, the piece disappears if you wait too long or something. Oh, yeah. Ma Monster Hunter does something very similar, too, where, uh, some monsters can drop uh, these like shiny little like orbs, and you have to pick them up. And sometimes they can be like cool monster parts as well. But the, the detriment to that is that uh, you have to find the right opportunity to pick it up. Yeah. Because if you're already engaging the monster, if you try to like just pick it up, you give it time, the monster will just punish you. Why didn't you shoot?
I wish I was fighting a full-sized one, because these ones you're, you're watching me fight so far, they've all been, like, babies, I guess you could say. They're called, they're called, like, uh, they're called Rogue and whatever the name of the, um, the monster is originally. And, like, the, the ones when you have, like, a full party are just bigger and have more different attacks. So the bigger your party is, the more stronger the monster gets? I think it is. I think that's what balances out hunting by yourself and hunting with a party. Yeah, because, again, I'm sounding like a broken record here, Monster Hunter does that too. <laughs> or if you're fighting the monster by yourself, the health will uh, lower it down, so it's a good fight if you're just, if you're just one Mm-hmm. This fucker is not dying though. I've been at this for a bit. Oh, you fucking slightly shifted left right as I released a shot. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's the worst feeling. Really. Big shot like that. Oh, that's okay. It died right after. But the shot would have killed it, and that would have looked way cooler. That's crazy. It, these fights don't feel like the t it did the time and it said 12 minutes. That didn't feel like a 12 minute fight. <laughs> I don't like another problem this game has right now is um, because it's closed beta and not as many people are on and, and then it is late at night right now. Um, it, it, it searches for a party for you, but in the end, if it can't find anybody, it sends you on the hunt by yourself. Oh, that's a shame. And I, w I wish there was just an option. Yeah, I want to fight. So there is a, there is an option to just go solo if you want to, but when I hit find a party, I'd rather wait longer just to find the party. Yeah, because the whole purpose of you clicking that option is because you want the party. It should just give you like a, a set queue time, and if you don't find anyone, it just dumps you in by yourself. Yeah, which kind of sucks sometimes. I hate that. Um. Well, I guess it does make sense considering that it's still closed beta, and not a whole lot of people are in. So at the very least, it still tries to get you to play the game without forcing you to wait like potentially like a very long time to become interested in some waiting. So everybody I'm watching looks really high gear in this lobby. Oh, I wonder if the... Oh, that armor looks hella cool. Oh, is that a new spear or is that an axe? I can't tell. But this axe is like changing fucking colors. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm on quite a delay, because I just got to the part where you finally slayed it. Ah. Slay, queen. Yas. Yas. Yes. Yas, queen. One snack. Yas. You hungry? Yas. Hmm. What the f 
fuck am I looking And it's funny too, because I, I always wondered why people in chat are like looking for, um... Looking for people, and I guess that's one way to guarantee you have a party. You know, is if you actually physically send an invite out to somebody. Did I not click? Yeah, I kind of like World of Warcraft. Not a lot of people do. I like the. I like the. This pike so far. It's pretty cool, actually. The open that you just used in the hut? Yeah. It looks nice. I like the animations that come with it. Yeah, it I'll feels really, it. really, yeah, it looks really fast. I'm not used to that, because before I used the axe. Oh, yeah. And the axe. Going from like a slow up into a much faster up, and it feels very, very different. But that rocket's damage seems so fucking strong. It's like. Usually the drawback of the sharp weapons, it's not as powerful. Yeah. But not with a fucking rocket launcher <laughs> built into your spear. It's almost like you get the best of both worlds. Okay, I'm gonna go try and memorize this fucking play. Alright, man. Yep. Good luck. Peace. Good luck. Best on you, man. Take care. I've seen... See, I... As much as I'm trying to promote this game, I know I'm getting Monster Hunter as well. I got impatient. Yeah. No, see, that's a, that's a problem, though. I don't know if I... It, it looks more of a choose-one game. Uh, with Monster Hunter, is the fact that there's not a very good, or at least, like, reliable, like, online Monster Hunter game that you can play. Uh -huh. Unless you, like... But this is the first one coming to PC, yeah? yeah? Yeah, it's the first one coming to PC for... for worldwide. Because there are Monster Hunter games on PC, uh -huh. but only in, like, China, Japan, and, like, Eastern countries. I get you. Yeah, but and those way. games are also very, very, uh, very hardcore and way more grindy than regular Monster Hunter, which is saying a lot. Huh. <laughs> yeah, um, this game, man. I hope, I hope it does good. Yeah, just looking at it, I'm already liking it just from watching it. I'm sure that oh. I like it even more if I played it. So. I wonder what monster this one's gonna be. The, the desert area might be the the fire guy. I don't the the flare's only use though is um to spot the monster. Like, uh, you let your teammate know you spotted him. It's kind of... I wish it was like a, a rally or something. Hmm. Or like something that you can like. If there's like a map like on the screen or something, or at least like... Something that like everyone said that you kind of like ping to your... I kind of like the no map thing. It, it makes you keep your eyes on the sky instead. Oh, new monster that I, I fought before, but you haven't seen this one if you're watching. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like if the game is going to have like really big like open areas like this, it'd be kind of good to like at least have a general idea on where you are and where you're. Yeah, like right now I'm going to like ping it a few times with my flares and harvest materials around it because I know nobody's fucking around me. <laughs> That's another weird thing. It's like you have to hurry up because your airship only has 30 minutes of fuel. So whatever monster you're fighting, you have to beat within 30 minutes. But, like, there's oh, also yeah. a, a press on, hey, uh, you need to get some materials while you're here. Yeah, definitely. So you can't just, like, dawdle and just, like, walk around. Like, you need to be able to do the things that you gotta do while you're here as quickly as possible. Oh, teammates, where are you? Oh, wait a second. Oh, something does pop up. It pops up on the compass. I never noticed that. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Uh oh, oh please no. Uh oh, I, I might have accidentally started fighting the monster. Oh, did it spot you and then it came Yeah. I think I, I wonder if the flare um, actually made it do that. Maybe, because it seemed like it, like, you were in its line of sight and it kind of just, like, spotted you after that. Oh, that's weird. That's not my. Huh. Yeah. Which sucks, because I have this, a really slow weapon now. <laughs> oh, that was a cool hit that guy did. Holy shit. Wait, so if... Oh, okay, I see. Wow, that's interesting, I guess. I have an active reload like type deal now. I haven't used the hammer before. This is all... So our third guy still hasn't popped up. <laughs> I'll shoot a flare real quick when I get the chance. Run! Oh, huh, that's weird. This gun seems very weird. No, why do you like me so much? Say that to the South Park people. Right. I like, um, there's these pools of, like, aether that the monster spawns next to, and you can use it to regain your, uh, health, but it only has so many uses. Oh, I see. Uh, so it's like a free health potion. But, I mean, that kind of, it goes away um, after you use it so many times. So you got to split it between your team. Like right, this, that makes sense. But this guy's axe, like, he must be high level. It's, it's a really cool fucking axe. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's doing a lot of damage with it, too. Which is weird. I thought the hunts usually, uh, they're moderately, like, people are closer to your level. Right. But oh well, I ain't complaining. At least I got two people. Definitely. It's nice to have someone with some high level gear. Every once in a while. Everybody else I play with on this server, if like they'd say, hey, let's play Diablo, <laughs> they're like, just, I'm just basically following people for however long we decide to play. Oh shit. Can we get to it from here? This game needs mounts. Nah. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like if the map's gonna be this big, you should give, like, other options and mobility. Just to be able to get around places faster. I don't know all the controls, because the control layout, um, is only shown for the keyboard. You have to actually Google, Google it online to find out the keys for, uh, oh, wow. controller. But that might have been changed, I don't know. I haven't checked with the new updates. Oh, Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, that's cool. This guy's good. I'm not sure if you saw me jump through the air in a second. But apparently if I'm holding sprint and I use my shooting action, I jump into the air. Oh yeah, I just saw that right now. Just that's fucking cool. I 
sure it does. Now I wonder what other things I can do with him. Oh, I know a monster that ability would be extremely useful for, though. Because there's this lava, that lava monster, he shoots a, like a tidal wave of lava out. And it's kind of difficult to time your jump to get over it. So that would be... I like this game's look. Like I was saying, uh, I'm not sure if I finished that conversation, but um, like I like the Borderlands look if it's done well. Oh, this yeah. game kind of reminds me of that. It's like a, a cartoony versus like I would call Monster Hunter the battlefield where it looks gorgeous. What time is it? Um...